Hey guys, it's Haxer, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Backtrack 4 Final on your hard drive or um, and, and your flash drive. So let's go ahead and get started. When you have the uh, live CD burned to a disc, a DVD, um, you'll boot it up, and when you get past everything, you, or the con when you get up to the console, you need to type star X altogether, no space just start X and when you get in press enter it'll boot up this GUI interface and when you get to this GUI interface all you'll see is right here you'll see everything you'll have a cool boot sound when it boots up and then you just double click this over here install sh and you'll see the GUI interface for installation so all you gotta do is follow the seven steps to that and then when that's finished uh, installing all the way it will ask you if you want to continue using the live CD or if you want to um, if you want to uh, restart the computer so uh, when you restart the computer then you'll need to log in uh, it might ask you to log in as root or it might go straight to this GUI interface uh, so if you're prompted at the console you need to type root as your username to log in with and then your password is Tor T O O R which is root spelt backwards as the default and then if you press enter then you'll be prompted up you'll be logged in as root and then you type in star X again and then press enter and then you'll be here again so uh, I will leave all those instructions in the uh, doobly-doo in the uh, description of this video so uh, I'll zoom out of here now and I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the on the flash drive so go up to applications uh, actually first we need I need to show you what you guys need to download sorry about that go to your uh, Firefox real quick <clears throat> go to Google and it doesn't matter if you're Windows or Linux, but I'm going to show you how you can manually install it. So type in U, or yeah, U, net, boot, in. Okay, very first link right here, this the sourceforge.net. And when you notice it, it'll come up and say for Windows for Linux, and you'll download one of those. And if you download the Linux one, all you have to do is... Uh, UCH mod uh, plus X and then the file in, in terminal to get your permission to uh, execute it. And you can just double click it and run it. Windows just install it like uh, like you usually do. Just double click and run the executable. Now me, I have Ubuntu. Uh, yeah, Ubuntu Linux. So I'm going to show you. You can go to applications up here. Ubuntu Software Center. Wait for it to load. Okay, it's up. Now you just type in U net boot. There it is. Okay, I've already installed it. And you just click the install button. Mine's already installed, and it'll look like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to use this. Okay, so now once you get it installed in Linux. Or Windows, it should be on your desktop. But in Linux, it's going to be in your applications, and your and Ubuntu is going to be in your application system tools. And you net boots in with a question mark. It'll ask for your password, and here it is. Now this one might look it might be an older version of it, but I just wanted to get it installed really quick, so I just use the. Uh, the Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, so once we get this, you choose the distri distribution. Look at that, a whole bunch of different types of use. Isn't that sweet or what? All right, you want to choose Backtrack in this case, and you can choose three or uh, four final. Okay, four final is what we're using. So once you have that, then you'll want to choose. Okay, in Linux, there's a problem with this. Okay. All you have to do is click show all drives with use of care. Bam, there it is. 
you got all your drives okay now you need to select the USB drive and you need to select the disk image which is wait a sec yeah it can you can use that or if you already have the disk image go ahead and go here so I think the distribution if I'm right it might yeah we'll just try that and then you hit uh, whatever you want to use uh, for your drive so how you know what drive is you just go to you can go in here go to system in administration disk utility in Ubuntu and if you look over here it will show you what your your device is so like my terabyte it'll show you right here your device that's what you want to look for so you do not want to install your backtrack right here otherwise it'd wipe out my terabyte or whatever and that's a no-no uh, so when it comes to your devices just looking down here and it should show your USB you highlight it bam there's your device for Windows it'll show like D drive F drive H drive stuff like that which is normal okay guys I think that's pretty much it, it sums it all up um, if you guys need have any questions or comments let me know and uh, just send them to me uh, comment rate subscribe let me know what I did on my video and please request any videos that you have or anything so uh, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. See you in the n next part uh, three